Hey, welcome back to today's video is on how to make money as an insurance agent in 2023 for beginners, okay? No matter how long you've been in the business, you can learn from this video. However, we are getting tons of questions from people that are coming into the industry. They're looking at the industry. They're like, man, dude, this thing is sexy. It, it flew through COVID. It, it's thriving and it's going to continue to do that, okay? Here's one thing. Before I get to these seven specific steps on how you can make money in 2023 and beyond... I want to mention that the average age of the insurance agent is 59, and there's a lot of insurance agents that are going to be retiring. They're going to be selling their insurance books of business that you could acquire. There's also going to be other people that are looking for investments, and so we're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes to help in those areas. But I want you to know that there's no better time to get into insurance than right now, right? Or to really start thriving at this thing. I mean, 92% of insurance agents fail, and you do not have to fail by following the stuff that we talk about today. Okay, step number one is to get licensed. Okay, if you are not licensed, you can get life licensed, you can get health licensed, you can get life and health licensed, you can get P and C licensed, or you can get licensed and all the above. And you can do that in different states. Um, every state is different. In Missouri, where I live, it's very simple. Uh, you get an online study course that you watch and you do practice quizzes and you study through the test material. It's been so long since I've done this too. Uh, then you go, and actually I would schedule your test first. So you have a date to shoot for, then you train, then you go pass your test and voila, your insurance license, right? It's like a couple hundred bucks and you're licensed. Very low barrier to entry to be an entrepreneur and to actually sell. Okay, number one is get licensed. I, I, I'm personally a little more bias towards life and health. I think life's phenomenal way to like start and get some income in. I think that uh, Medicare and health are phenomenal for residual income. On the PNC side, I would, I would rather buy a PNC book personally uh, of business than just build one. Okay. So I'm going to keep it simple. Number one, get licensed. Number two, choose the insurance company to work with. Uh, there's a lot of options in the industry. There are tens of thousands of insurance companies all over the place. There's a hundred, half a million recruiters trying to get your business every second of the way. I would say this number, this, step, this second step is truly important. And here's why. Who you choose to work with is super important because their experience is going to become your experience. What they say, you typically will listen and do. And maybe it's bad, right? Uh, what they pay you is important. Maybe they make you sign something to where you just freaking like sign off your next 12 children and you know what I mean? And, and you have no control the rest of your life, right? Well, that's not good. And so when you're talking about choosing an insurance company, it's really important. You may want to start out where you've got a local place that you can jump into an office and they can help you. You may want to do, you know what I mean? It, it, every situation is different, but here's one thing I w will say. We get asked this question about, hey, which company should I choose so much? Two, 300 times a week that we finally started an agent placement program. So if you're one of those people and you're like, hey, dude, I don't know which company to work with and I would love your help as a third party unbiased resource, I would love for you to refer me to a insurance agency that you have vetted, that is a partner of yours in some way and that you trust. And if that's you and if that's true, there's a link below in the description. You can go to agentplacementprogram.com. You can put in your name, email, phone, what state you're in, if you're licensed, what license you have, and then what company you are with, if any. And then we will refer you to an insurance agency to work with, which is really important. But choosing an insurance company, there's a lot of facets in choosing an insurance company. I would just say that um, don't jump into bed, so to speak, or into a marriage uh, with the first recruiter that you talk to. You know, I mean, do, do your due diligence. Make sure that it is the right place. If they get offended that you're not signing on immediately, why is that? Why would they need you to sign on like in the first 12 minutes? Well, maybe because they're trying to trap you. I don't know, right? You just got to be careful, okay? So choosing an insurance company, super important, very vital. Number three is to get trained. Uh, Training is really important because you need to know what to do. Like I made $117,000 in my first eight months selling insurance, but I was listening to audiobooks. I was going to conferences. I was doing all the stuff. Like the most successful agents, they are learning they are networking and they're also going to as many training events as they can. And then they're putting in a lot of work, man. Like they are not lazy. They are doing it, right? Like as an example, we have a, a coaching program, a coaching and training program for insurance agents called Six Figure Society where and you get access to all 26 of our courses that are at training.codyaskins.com. All 26 of those courses. You also get access to a weekly training and coaching call. 
You get access to a bunch of instructors. You get access to a live chat where you can ask whatever. We had two questions come up yesterday in Six Figure Society. Um, you also get access to a signed copy of my book and some welcome material. Whole, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And it's only 49 bucks a month with no contract, which is insane. I get it. I'll put the link below, Six Figure Society at sixfiguresociety.com to get some additional training and help. And the reason people come to us for training and help, like you are, as, we, as you're watching videos and typing and looking for help, is maybe you're looking to do better. Freaking phenomenal, because you should. Maybe your, your upline is not helping you, or, or, or you're at a place where you're not getting as much help as you would like. Or maybe you question the help that you're receiving, and you're like, man, do this Cody cat. Uh, I'm actually, I'm not a cat. Okay, I'm a jaguar, right? I guess that's a big cat, maybe. That's a form of a cat. I don't know. Uh, I've got a huge Jaguar painting with money and flames and stuff in my office. That's why I use that uh, analogy. Uh, but dude, getting training is important, man. It's like, so make sure that you are getting the proper training and that you are getting trained and you're putting in the work. Number four, get in front of people. Getting in front of people consistently is the most important part of this business. If you do not see prospects, you don't make sales and you don't make money and you quit like 92% of others. Like on the other side of the studio right now, Brett who does a lot of our uh, AV and IT and, 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 and web and coding and all that kind of stuff. He is building out a seating map with only 1,000 seats for Apris Nation 2023, which is our conference that we host every year. Super vital, super important. The uh, production level and speaker lineups and energy, it's second to none. <laughs> like there is no other industry, insurance industry conference that even comes close to 8%. So if you want more information about that, go to apresnation.com makes me think of that. Okay. Back to getting in front of people. Maybe you need to buy leads every week, but you have to consistently ask at least 10 people to buy insurance every week, every week, or you will fail. You just do. Uh, and a lot of times it don't even matter how you get there or how it happens, whether you're creative or whether you just buy leads or whether you create your own, whether you, you know what I mean? Whatever. There's a lot of ways to succeed, but you got to get in front of people. I believe in the set 15, Sit with 10, sell five at a minimum. That's more like a part-time model. If you're full-time, you can do a lot more, right? I know a lot of agents are setting, they're setting 30, 40 points a week, but they need a lot of leads and they got to put in a lot of activity and they got to make a lot of dollars to do that. Okay, number five is sell policies. How do you make money? You, you sell policies, right? Like that's how you do that. I think I put up a video a while back and I was like, hey, here's the stuff you need to know. And someone's like, yeah, but you didn't tell them to sell policies. Well, dude, I thought that was a given, but hey, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's not a given. If you didn't know any better, you have to sell something to get paid because like 99% of insurance agent positions are, you know, commission only, right? As, as they should be. Uh, so sell policies to get paid. They will advance you commissions on policies and you will receive commissions for helping a client. Um, number six, get paid. After you sell a client, get paid. Okay. Which is also my uh, uh, next meeting just rescheduled so I can keep talking for a few more minutes, which is great because I was already late. Uh, number six, get paid super important. After you sell policies, you want to get paid, but you want to get paid early, often, and frequently. I was reading a book recently that talked about how you need to get a, like if you're helping a client, you're doing something in a business, you want to help someone get a win to where they feel like they won and they got a victory in the first seven days. Super important. Okay. So I don't know what that looks like for you and your business, but it's important that when we are working with people that we help them get a win right? Which is really, really, really important, which is why, again, we have the agent placement program because there's so many agents that just don't know who to work with. And I trust me, I trust our team and I trust people that we work with. And so we can actually refer those agents to get paid with people that we trust that can actually help them, which is super important. And then number seven is to rinse and repeat weekly. Okay. And so like we talk about getting in front of people, selling policies and getting paid and continuing to train and being with the right company. All those things, you have to do it every single week like clockwork. That's the thing about the industry. I mean, if you're, if you're building a, you know, if you're on the Medicare, health, or PNC side, yeah, there may come a point where you just like stop selling. But on the life side, dude, you don't, you never stop selling. You know what I mean? Unless you start building a team and you have a, you know, 50 agents, 100 agents, 1,000 agents, and you just don't want to sell anymore. That's up to you. But as far as like, unless you have a team and you're building an agency, if you're on the life side, which I love, you're selling forever you know? And so be thinking about these pieces and these things. This is how to make money as an insurance agent in 2023. So if that's you, you're like, dude, I want to make some money. I've always wanted to make money. Okay. So whether it's, if we can help you with the agent placement program, check that out. Six Figure Society, if you want additional coaching and training, phenomenal. 
um, 8%, our conference or any of our events. If you have any questions about anything we do, go to CodyAskins.com and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. So like 2018, that year, I sold between all four companies, I sold $75,000 of life insurance premium. I made about $60,000 that year, okay? 2019, I sold 